Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to Virtual Sunday School. It's Miss Stephanie, and we're going to be talking about some more crazy animals in the Bible. So, does anyone remember who we talked about last week? That's right. We talked about a dove. So we talked about how a dove went out to find the olive branch from the ark. And if you don't remember, you can watch last week's. Go check it out. Today, we're going to talk about a really weird fish. Now, if I had this fish, I would catch it every day because every day I would get money. Maybe that doesn't make sense yet, but it will in a minute. Go ahead and grab your Bible and I'll meet you back here. So, today, my kid's Bible didn't have the story I wanted to read. So I'm actually going to be reading the Bible from my phone. Now, some people would say that's kind of silly. Why don't you use your Bible? Did you know that it's okay to read your Bible wherever you are? You don't have to have a special place that you sit. You don't have to have a special version. You don't have to have just a kid's Bible or an adult Bible or a study Bible. You can read the Bible wherever you are whenever you are, however you are. So today, I'm using an app on my phone to read the Bible to you. I have a video to follow along with as I read. So we're going to be reading in Matthew. Matthew 17, 24 to 27. And I'm gonna go ahead and pause now. I know I have the video and stuff, but I'm gonna go ahead and pause first because I want you to read it in your Bible and then you can listen to me read it from mine as we watch the video. Go ahead. Okay, welcome back. So how did you read your Bible today? Did you have a kid's Bible, a study Bible, a Bible on your phone or your tablet? Lots of ways to learn. Okay, so here we go. Ready video? I hope so. So when they came to Capernaum, the collectors of the two drachma tax went up to Peter and said, does your teacher not pay tax? He said, yes. And when he came to the house, Jesus spoke first saying, what do you think, Simon? From whom do kings of the earth take their tolls or tax? From their sons or from others? And when he said, for our mothers, Jesus said to him, then the sons are free. However, not to take offense to them or not to upset them. Go to the sea and cast out a hook and take the first fish that comes up. And when you open its mouth, you will find a shekel. <gasps> That's their money. Take that and give it to him for me and for yourself. Wait a second. Did you hear what I just read? Did you see in that video? He went fishing, and what did the fish have in his mouth? That fish had money in his mouth. He had enough money to pay their taxes. I don't know about you, but if I found that fish, I'd probably keep putting him back in the pond and keep trying to catch him. Maybe better yet, I'd put him in a bucket. That way it'd be easy to catch him. Do you think he kept giving people money? <laughs> no, he didn't. The money was something that Jesus did. It was a miracle. He he said, when you throw it out, Peter, the first fish that comes to you, pull it out and there'll be money in it. And he did. There was money right in his mouth. How cool is that? You know, it's silly to talk about fish with money in their mouth. But it's really cool to think about how God can always provide for us. When we're having rough times or when we think, oh, I'm never going to finish this project. I'm never going to get this done. This isn't going to happen. I, I don't even have an idea of where to start. God's always there. And God can sometimes just give a little idea that can turn into an amazing thing that we can do. So let's go ahead and close in prayer and let's thank God for always providing in moments that we need. Can you pray with me? Dear God, thank you for always providing. Help me to always remember that the way you provide isn't always what I want, but it's what you know I need. I love you, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. So as you go out this week, 
I want you to try to think of, watch for, listen for, taste for, smell for. Try to use all your senses to see different ways that God provides for us. He could provide an encouraging word. He could put a friend in our life that says just the right thing. It could be a hug from a parent or a family member. But think of ways and try to notice ways that God provides because he always does. On that note, have a fantabulous week. I miss seeing you face to face and I hope to see you soon. Jesus keep you.